Tonight, the man arrested for carrying guns into the state capitol twice in one day is in protective custody. Police say both times Joshua Pleznik demanded to see the governor. Police arrested Pleznik for illegally openly carrying a weapon. Police say he posted bail and then returned with an AK-style rifle. At this hour, prosecutors have not filed any criminal charges against him. 12 News political director Matt Smith is live in the newsroom tonight. Matt, this incident has sparked a growing debate surrounding security at the Capitol. Patrick, in response to Wednesday's incident, Governor Tony Evers saying today he has no plans to restrict access to the Capitol itself. His Department of Administration controls the entrances, but tonight growing concerns from the state Senate president in an interview today for Upfront. Any immediate security changes at the Capitol that you anticipate? We are actually, we've been looking at additional security measures uh, in the Senate for sure. So I was briefed on it yesterday, just kind of the background. We're very concerned about it. It's a very credible threat. One of the officers said it's probably one of the most concerning uh, things that he's seen. So we definitely are looking at options. Meantime tonight, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss saying on social media, quote, Governor Evers is right in his take on this. The Capitol Police did their job and we should not restrict the ability of the public to access their elected officials and the state Capitol beyond what we do now, Patrick. The Matt, concealed carry is allowed in the Capitol with a permit. It is in the Capitol building itself, but not in the Senate gallery, for example. Senate and Assembly leaders have control over security rules in their own chambers. Sunday morning on up front, much more was Senate President Chris Kapinga, those security member measures, his push to impeach the state's top election official, all coming up Sunday morning at 9 right here in WISN 12. There's a lot to get to, Matt. We'll see you then.